All right, let's talk ratios. When you see the word ratio, you know you're probably going to do, use the butterfly method. Okay, it's pretty common when you see the word ratio. So a ratio is just a comparison of two things. So miles to gallons, uh, green to yellow paint, um, cheerleaders to pom-poms, uh, Dalmatians to spots, um, Harry Potter to, you know, spells to minutes, okay? So lots of different comparisons you can make, but that's all a ratio is. It's just a comparison of two things. So sometimes you might see a ratio where it's written like this. Sometimes you might see it written like a fraction. Um, there's lots of different ways you might see your ratios. So let's look at the first example. It says Sally made green paint by combining a ratio of four gallons of blue with two gallons of yellow. So for this, our ratio is blue to yellow. And remember, order matters. So it said blue was four, and then our two is yellow. So our ratio will be four to two. And again, order matters. It was said blue first, so blue goes first, okay? And then the next thing says, ratios can also be used to determine if things are equal, greater than, or less than. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So again, a lot of times we can, if we see the word ratio and they're asking for something that's equivalent, right? Equivalent means equal, we can butterfly. So we can butterfly corner to corner. Five times 12 is 60. 20 times three is 60. So these are equal fractions. They are equivalent, okay? And then you can do the same thing if they were ratios, if it was written as three to 12 and five to 20, it's gonna be the same process, butterfly butterfly. So it doesn't matter if they're written as fractions or ratios, this method still works. Okay, so let's see about these two. So this one, we multiply corner to corner. Three times three is nine. Five times two is 10. So these are not equivalent. 10 is greater than nine. So this fraction is greater than this fraction. And again, your Pac-Man is going to eat the larger fraction. Try the last one. Again, we're comparing these two fractions or ratios. So we're gonna multiply corner to corner. Four times two is eight. Multiply corner to corner. One times 10 is 10. And 10 is greater than eight. So again, one fourth is greater than two tenths. So that's how we use the butterfly to see if ratios or fractions are equal, greater than, or less than. All right, and then you might see the word ratio um, set up like a proportion. So it says the money earned per hour is recorded in the table below. How much money will they earn for 20 hours of work? So in this case, we're still just comparing two things. We're comparing money and hours. And in this case, remember, we really only use the last piece of the table. So I'm just going to choose the last piece, and I'm just going to kind of get rid of the other parts of my table. I am gonna label this was money and this was hours. All right, and then it says they're asking for 20 hours. So now that we're comparing two things, um, just like setting up a ratio, that's what our WKU is. So our ratio is money to hours. Those are our words, our W words. What do we know? We know this information they gave us in the table. So money was 45. I'm gonna leave off the decimal zero, zero because it's not necessary, 45 as a whole. And then hours was 10. And then the unknown, our unknown, our question is 20 hours. So I would put 20 on the bottom because that's where the other hours are and I'm looking for the money. 
From there, I'm just gonna cross multiply and divide. So I'm gonna multiply 45 times 20, and then I'm gonna divide by my extra 10. I don't know 45 times 20, so I'm gonna multiply like normal over here. And I get 900, there are no decimals. So this is gonna be 900 divided by 10. And then I'm gonna use my zeros trick to get rid of one zero from the top, one zero from the bottom. And now it's just 90 over one. And I know that whole numbers go over one. So for 20 hours of work, they should make $90. Okay, for 20 hours of work, we should make $90. And then the last way you might see a proportion on star, it says if Handy Manny can build five bookshelves in four hours, how long will it take him to build 18 bookshelves? So it's pretty common that in questions where you need a WKU, they're going to give you three numbers, okay? Unless it's a measurement conversion, measurement conversions normally give you only one number in the problem, okay? So this does give us three numbers and we are comparing, we're making a ratio or comparison of two things, so in this case, bookshelves to hours, okay? So we know our words will be bookshelves over hours, and it really doesn't matter which one you put where, um, as long as you're consistent when you set up the K and the U. So again, our words were bookshelves over hours, what do we know? We know Handy Manny can build five bookshelves in four hours. And then the question, right? This is our question here, the part with the question mark, goes under our U and it says 18 bookshelves. So I know 18 will go on top because that's where bookshelves are and I'm looking for how much time it's gonna take. So this is going to cross multiply the opposite direction 18 times four, so I'm gonna come over here and say what is 18 times four? And that's going to be 72, and then 72 divided by five. Well, in this case, I don't have any magic zeros to drop off, so I'll just label my cowboy and my horse and start dividing. So 72 goes inside, boots and hat, Five goes outside. Five does go into seven once. Five goes into 22 four times. We have to eat a donut. Five goes into 20 four times. And we zero out and we check, did we reach our decimal? Yes. So it will take him about 14.4 hours to build those 18 bookshelves. So these are the different ways you'll see ratios and proportions with WKUs on the star test.